And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. As I promised in my yesterday's video, as soon as those new Yo tanks come out to the live server, bypassing sandbox, bypassing public test server, I am going to jump straight into them, showcasing what those tanks have to offer. Are they worth it? How good or bad they are? Showing some gameplay action for you as well. Before you are going to spend your experience, your credits, your time grinding out all those vehicles over here. If you have a lot of experience on T1 uh, heavy, you know, you can use it on the Polak tank or Polak tank. Uh, then into the M2Y, then into the M3Y, M6Y, and the cherry on the top of the cake, M5Y. And this is what we're going to focus on in today's video as well, because, you know, you would always like to see what is the uh, final price, what is the cherry on the top of the cake uh, uh, in one or another tech tree line, seeing if this tech tree line is worth grinding in the first place. And this is exactly what we're we are going to do and luckily I'm able to use this community contributors account uh, where I was able to get this tank already but uh, I have seen many M5Os on the battlefield already so many players are going to research them as well straight into the tier 10 bypassing every other vehicle so just be ready for those vehicles and let's see how it performs right uh, uh, so, here is my setup. Uh, I have two setups. This is the uh, first one, the ventilation, the stabilizer, rammer combo, you know, quite the standard uh, one for the meta tanks, right? And uh, the second one is actually with turbo. Turbo might be very useful because of the reserve track feature. Long story short, if your main tracks gets destroyed and your reserve tracks are still up, you are able to keep moving. And those main tracks are repairing itself in the meantime, right? Uh, now, going over the field modifications very quickly. The permanent bonus is quite nice, actually. Plus 3% to hit points and aiming speed as well. I decided to go with the maintaining speed. This uh, seems to be the best on almost all the tanks, um, honestly. Uh, then the aiming circle size, uh, then the extra view range over the stun duration, then the reserve, uh, reverse speed actually, over the gun traverse speed. Uh, this might be very useful with this uh, new reserve track feature, you know, if you get tracked you're able to back away faster. And uh, finally I went for the extra gun stabilization. And um, view range is very nice actually, even with turbo, but uh, at first let's play with this ventilation setup right over here. You can see view range 485 because it comes with 400 uh, stock view range. Now, the first battle is going to be played with this uh, small gun, the higher faster firing TPM gun. Uh, 1.77 second aiming time, very nice, 0 0.29 accuracy, 3517 damage per minute, 9.77 second reload time. Now it has two gun options, two main guns basically, 105 and 120 millimeter gun. Uh, next up we are going to play with 120 millimeter gun option. Uh, 40 of speed, you know, this is nothing special, but if you use turbo, you know, it is actually quite nimble, as you are going to see on the battlefield that, uh, as well. Uh, this uh, mobility is actually quite uh, nice, I would say so. 2,270 hit points, armor. Oh boy, <clears throat> talking about the armor, ladies and gentlemen, upper plate. Heavy, heavily strong, right? If you are able to be hull down, it is going to bounce a lot. Now, those... Uh, points over here or those uh, thing is what are holding the turret uh, system uh, i i wonder if anyone is actually laying inside this and you know peeking but those might be weak spot for gold rounds those eyes might be weak spots for gold rounds but overall a uh, turret is going to be massively massively annoying and overall i think this tank is going to be quite an annoying tank to deal with on the battlefield so, without further ado, actually, let's jump into our first battle with this setup and with this small, faster firing gun. 360 alpha damage in tier 10 is quite, uh, you know, quite very low. Uh, let's test out this gun first and then let's uh, jump into the bigger one. So, our first battle with the small gun is going to be played on uh, Save Heaven, tier 9 battle, 1 artillery. Alright, let's see how this one goes. And, uh, as I said, uh, I'm playing with the small gun, even though I think the bigger gun will be the main type of gun players are going to use definitely because you know 440 alpha damage compared to the 360 it's just uh, so much more uh, useful in many cases for many players and here is amx can i track no wow i just took the shot and split second actual split second later there was one to one b whose side armor was actually visible 
Now, is Effie going to big? Is Effie going to gum? I don't think so. 268 penetration, 360 alpha damage is low. Shell velocity on heat, uh, 1173 is nice, you know. 315 penetration, it's okay as well. Uh, 945 shell velocity with high explosive round, but 53 penetration. So high explosive on this uh, gun is actually has the alpha damage of, of the bigger gun, 120 milli millimeter gun. So let's see. I, I don't think anyone else is going to pick uh, this part of the map anymore. Yeah, actually FE is over there. Can we can we do a little quick snapshot, sneaky snapshot with high explosive which I just loaded into? And actually no penetration. That was actually no penetration. What could I ever hit not to be a penetration over there? What could ever hit? Oh, this reload time is actually quite nice. You can see. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. And that is Badger. A gunner. Badger is a gunner. <clears throat> Not the gunner, but gunner. DPM. You know, very nice. Reload speed. Very nice. And hello. Alright. That is a Gwilin. A Jillin. We are able to eat that HP quite fast. And now face hug. Nah, didn't work. Did not work. And uh, if you are not going to load all me the second time in a row, we should we should be able to pick up the kill, but never mind, ladies and gentlemen, because low rolling three times in a row is just what we do over here. Ay ay ay, that sucks so badly. Can we side scrape somehow? Beautiful. Okay, we are faster with the side scraping action at least. Now we can push up uh, easily. This battle is over. Uh, one sided battle, nothing. You know, but honestly, <clears throat> not much more to show about uh, this gun. Uh, let's uh, switch up the guns and let's jump into the next battle right away, right? And I think we're able to do that very uh, Aggressively as well. All right, let's do a side scraping over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you are actually pending me. Oh, there is a high roll as well. <coughs> there is a high roll. There is the high roll we are looking for. That guy was pending us with uh, primo rounds, of course. Uh, Thank destroyer most likely sitting up there, I guess. So let's see. Most likely we are going to eat one shell. Yep. Well, at least, at least we tried eating that shell. At least we did try eating that shell. There is artillery. Boop. Just like this. And for the uh, WZ, I believe we are going after the primo rounds. Now this position, you're uh, at least in this battle, you're able to see what this tank is actually capable of doing hull down. Maybe. Nope. Never mind. Enemy just, simply put, did not have a team. Simply put, they did not have a team. And I do not have the angle. <laughs> I have gun depression, but they didn't have enough gun depression. I should have fired at uh, this uh, angled side part. But hey, it is what it is. 3,100 damage done. Well, four kills. <clears throat> Honestly speaking, I would not be surprised if we are going to be... Uh, it did top three damage done because, you know, usually in those uh, super fast battles, players are simply not able to deal enough damage individually. Oh yes, continue. This is a brand new account, by the way. They took away all our previous accounts. So where are we? Top damage dealer. Okay, I take that. Top damage dealer. Yeah. Uh, but now, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, go right over here. Why I do not have this, this gun? Did I sell it? Somehow. I don't know. Anyway. Top gun, or, or as they call it, the, the second top gun. Let's load in some ammunition. 252 penetration, 300 with heat. Uh, shell velocity numbers are the same. 60 penetration with HE, so this might be good in some cases. Uh, but yeah, less penetration, but more alpha damage. 440. I guess, uh, as I said, this is going to be the top gun used right over here. So let's jump into the battle with this gun.
So, final battle versus tier 9 on Erlenberg. Alright, um, well, we are going to be in the hull down position right over here. And uh, hopefully we are able to punish some aggressive guys who try to be too aggressive. Let's put it that way. For example, that enemy, yo, Tango. Oh, yes, yo, what is up? What is up, my friend? Quick sh uh, shot into the side. Well... Uh, tank like that, you know, it is very play uh, playable position up over there. Anyone else though? Anyone else? Does anyone else wants to receive a shot or two? Let's pull back. All right, E100 over here, and here is EBR. Oof! Oof! How high was that shot, right? How freaking high was that shot? Hmm. Maybe we can actually put some pressure on those guys. Maybe we can do so. Let me just quickly reposition across the river. There is Leopard as well, though. There is Char. Quick shot in, and let's pull back. We need someone over here where I am right now. I know we have FaZe over here, but FaZe was not doing super much. Pixel shot. Oof. Nice, I take the assistance, I take the spotting. There is Leopard, yeah, as expected. Leopard was going to punish us. Someone needs to get that Leopard's attention. Someone really needs to get that guy's attention. Low. Into the ground, nice. The more shots this guy's going to receive into the side, the more room we have to play over here. Imagine if that leopard is not over there, I would be able to use the window and simply hammer down on all those enemy tanks up there. Just imagine that, right? But we are still able to play over here somewhat. Okay, quick shot in again. This guy's using the small gun, high DPM gun. D30. D30, somewhere up over there. Whew, that was a lucky bounce with the turret. Can't argue with that. That was one very lucky bounce, artillery. And phase one. Snapped my... What did you snap, dude? Oh, <gasps> turret ring. Did this guy actually hit my turret ring? Oh, yes, I think so. Look at that. Look at that. Right over there. Right over there. Mouse, hello. <clears throat> I was too busy looking at looking at where I received that shot. While we have mouse out in the open. Nice side hit. <clears throat> mouse is pushing in. How bad would it be if I would cross it right now? I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to cross back because I believe we have some things to do with that mouse. I do believe so. Okay, loader. Loader is dead. Oh, there is mouse coming in. Nice. Well, Mouse is blindly chasing down that other dude. Okay, heat has to go. Standard uh, standard rounds don't have enough pen, I would say so. Well, for lower plate, I do have enough pen, but come on, penetrate it, penetrate it. Nice. I'm going to receive one shot, luckily. It wasn't. Huh? Luckily, it was only a tracking shot. So nothing else done. And there is artillery as well. Okay, we have to calm down over here. We have to calm down over here because this is very, very intense fight. Side scraping is uh, quite beautiful in this tank, honestly speaking. It is not the worst side scraper in the game. There is Fofen Dragger. Definitely didn't want to waste my heat round for that, but E50 seems to be pushing in. I wonder why are you pushing in over here? 
Ay, Waffendrager, still beaking. What is that? Uh, what is that Waffendrager beaking over here? What ammunition are you using, Emil? What type of ammunition are you using? Heat. Okay, so let's side scrape. Beautiful. Okay, good job. Good help. Good help. We needed that. We actually needed that help a lot over here. Haha, <laughs> main gun. This time you were not so lucky. This time you were not so lucky to hit the shot quickly. T30 pushing up. There is Leopard. Wolfenträger over there so aggressively is already a big, big, massive surprise, I have to tell you that. <clears throat> Where did phase one go? Where did enemy phase one go, guys? Where did you go? Cross the bridge somehow? Did he? I don't think so. Did he actually cross the bridge somehow? Oh, there is Leopard. No! <clears throat> I saw a tiny window. Didn't catch the guy fast enough. Did not... Okay, <laughs> well... I just looked at uh, M5... Uh, M5O under an angle what I simply physically cannot penetrate. This is what happened over here. I saw the guy under an angle, under impenetrable angle. Okay, phase one <clears throat> has been worked down by artillery. No! No! So this guy's pulling back. It is 8 to 8. The score is 8 to 8. We have to be still very careful. I feel like I have to be over here. And let's go for the heat rounds because this is very, very intense. This is very, very intense. Basically, we have to wait for the enemy mistakes. Good job. Foish is dead. Very nice job. Almost full HPD 55A. We need that almost full HPD 55A to make some moves. This guy has been sitting very back, you know, even versus uh, when Foch was over there. This guy was still sitting back. No bueno. Are we going to play? Or are we just going to wait over here? Beautiful. No damage taken. No damage taken. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully artillery is simply able to knock out the guy. A G loaded in just for the guaranteed kill. Well, almost guaranteed kill. Beautiful. And did T30 pull back or not? I am afraid we are going to get a little tiny draw, boy. Side scraping. Huh? Where did that shot even go, my friend? Just like that. It is a weird looking tank, honestly. Fighting versus this will be so weird, my friend. So weird. Okay, well, we were able to get 7,000 damage at least, but it is a draw. What can we do? I, I tried to be more aggressive. We had quite a passive D55A player over here. I would say, especially looking towards the end of the battle, very, 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 very passive player right over here. And... Um, yeah, what can I say? What can I say? Oh, by the way, by the way, we have a new garage over here. Ace tanker as well. Uh, for a draw. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, for a draw to get ace tanker. Well, I take that, right? I take that. Uh, for this uh, 
con community contributors account. By the way, in the middle of the in the middle of the loadings, uh, the server got disconnected, and uh, here it is, the new uh, um, new garage for you. But more about that in one of my next videos, ladies and gentlemen. So 7,177 damage done. So, a couple final words about this tank. Uh, well, the skill cap seems to be quite big, actually. Uh, especially if you're playing uh, hull down on the reach lines. You can't uh, use the gun depression, uh, uh, like, uh, use the gun depression and win everything. It is not the case. It is not the situation right over here. Because if you use your gun depression, you're going to reveal uh, quite a massive weak spot, which is uh, back over there. The entire, uh, the entire rear uh, part of the turret is going to be a weak spot. Then seems like the turret ring is a weak spot. Um... Even, you know, when you're face-hugging this tank, just hit the turret ring, but this, it's just such a weird tank. It is going to be such a weird tank to face, and lower plate is, you know, actually uh, quite reliable, I would say so. But yeah, you have to look out uh, for those uh, penetrations over there. Every time you take the shot, basically, you have to raise your gun, not to uh, reveal your weakness. Uh, never show your weakness, like, for free, basically. Uh, anyway, M5Y in front of you. Couple battles with it, uh, with couple different setups. Let me know what you think about that. Are you going for it? In the comment section down below. I catch you next time with something else. Uh, many, many more things to come, guys. So stay tuned for that. Take care and bye.